Hello everyone, this is Dr. Lavanya, gynecologist from Puducherry. The Foxy Society of Puducherry is organizing a free health camp for all the police women officers and their family members for screening of cancer cervix for free. It is organized at six different places. In the South Zone, they are organizing it at the Arupati Vidu Medical College. I request all the women police officers and their family members and the other women of Pondicherry to make good use of this service and get screened for the cancer service. What is cancer in fact? Cancer is abnormal multiplication of cells. In the whole of our body, there, are, there is cell multiplication which is happening every day. But what happens in cancer is, this multiplication is disproportionately increased. It is so much increased that there is accumulation of cells in the body which is abnormal. This is called as cancer. So, cancer. And coming to cancer cervix, it is the cancer of the opening of your birth canal. The uterus has an opening which is called as a cervix and this particular area is frequently prone for cancer. So, what happens in cancer cervix is there is an ectocervix which is visible outside and there is an endocervix which is not visible outside. And these two different zones are lined by two different cells. The ectocervix is lined by squamous epithelium, the endocervix is lined by columnar epithelium. And there is a junction at these, uh, at these two particular points. And this junction is the place where there is multiplication of cells happening. The endocervix has columnar cells, the ectocervix has squamous cells as I said. And as the age of the woman increases, the ectocervical squamous cells move inward and this particular junction of the columnar and the squamous cells becomes the zone of development of cancer. So what, uh, what should we do to prevent cancer cervix? Who are all the women who are at risk of developing cancer cervix? So all the married women who are sexually active are at risk of developing cancer cervix. So should every woman get screened for cancer cervix? Yes, every woman who is married or who is more than 21 years of age should get cancer service screening every year until she finds three consecutive smears are negative. So what is the screening test which we are using? Pap smear is one such screening test which is universally accepted and is the gold standard for screening of cancer service. Here, what the gynecologist does is a simple examination where she tries to identify any abnormal areas in the cervix and even when there are no abnormal areas in the cervix, she uses a wooden spatula to scrape the cells which are shedded from this transformation zone and apply these cells onto a smear and then fix that smear and subject it to cytological examination or the microscopic examination. In this microscopic examination, there can be normal cells or there can be abnormal so what is it? If there are abnormal cells, is that the end of the story? No. So once you find abnormal cells in this, uh, on the slide, the woman is subjected to further evaluation where she undergoes something called as the colposcopic guided biopsy where a piece of uh, the cervical tissue is taken uh, where the gynecologist visualizes your cervix through a green filter camera and she finds the abnormal areas of the cervix and these abnormal areas of the cervix are picked up and from there the biopsy of the tissue is taken and subjected to microscopic examination for further evaluation to confirm whether this woman has cancer cervix or no. So is uh, screening for cancer cervix by pap smear, is it a painful procedure? No, it's not a painful procedure but it can cause little uncomfortable situation where the uh, cervix of the woman is exposed and the cervical cells are smeared by scraping them using a wooden spatula. And the most, uh, the newer advanced techniques like liquid based cytology are considered more accurate than the pap smear for cancer cervix screening. So when should you stop screening for cancer cervix? As such, uh, uh, any woman who has three consecutive smears negative can undergo further screening only after 5 years. She need not undergo the screening every year again. And any woman who is more than 70 years and who had adequate pap smear screening before which was showing no abnormality can further uh, need not further undergo cancer cervix screening. So can is there any method by which this cancer cervix can be 
prevented? Not in the absolute method, but there is something called as a HPV vaccine which can be taken by all the adolescent girls before the beginning of sexual activity or before uh, marriage where they can uh, take this cervical cancer vaccine and this is to an extent prevents uh, the cancer cervix. And uh, is it costly investigation? No, it's not a costly investigation. It's an affordable investigation which every woman should undergo after it, uh, three years of married life should undergo screening and there is no exception to this and this is a life-saving procedure because for a precancerous lesion in cancer cervix to become a malignant lesion it takes at least uh, 5 to 10 years and this latent period or the this, this window period is taken uh, the advantage of this latent period is taken care of and uh, so that you can identify the cancer cervix at the earliest stage in the pre-malignant stage so that you uh, you can you need not undergo the trauma of developing a cancer and the post uh, and the consequences of the which uh, which you have to face after developing cancer like undergoing a radiotherapy or a chemotherapy or whatever so let's say the woman who has undergone pap smear screening has tested positive for the malignant cells is that the end of the story no she is subjected for further evaluation like I said like the colposcopic guided biopsy and now after the colposcopic guided biopsy if there is positive cancer cells then what is that the end of the story no even if you have cancer cervix that's not the end of the story that's not the end of the life uh, we have surgical management of cancer cervix if it is an early stage of the cancer and we have uh, advanced radiotherapy and chemotherapy techniques which can cure cancer cervix absolutely. So I welcome all the women of Pondicherry to make fullest use of this service, get screened and avoid developing cancer cervix. We have uh, the cancer cervix screening undergo, uh, going on at the Arupadi Vidu Medical College and we have a clinical center called as the Onco Hill uh, Cancer Center along with the Be Healthy Family Clinic. We have oncologists and gynecologists at this particular center where we are screening for cancer cervix and we provide a wide range of options of radiotherapy and chemotherapy depending upon the stage of your cancer. Thank you one and all and on this occasion of Women's Day, I request all the women out there to take a pledge of self-love and self-care. Thank you. This is Dr. Lavanya Ramadgu, obstetrician and gynecologist from Puducherry. Thank you.